Hi everyone, so this is just a little update on how Henry's doing. You are finally on to custard now, aren't you? So he is doing so incredibly well. Are you waving hi? Hi, good boy. Um, so he's doing so well and he's actually really enjoying the custard, which is amazing, isn't it? Doing really well. Um, so we have included a little clip of Henry just coming up. Um, and he is munching away and enjoying all the custard that he likes. Honestly, it's so, so much. So we started off just um, with the odd teaspoon, just a little amount, and then we worked our way up. And he's now having entire, I think they're 100 gram pots um, of dairy free custard. So we are delighted, yeah. aren't we? Yeah, we are delighted to finally have Henry starting to eat. Ouch, that's really sore. So we are delighted. So I hope you enjoy this clip. As you can see, he is absolutely loving it. I can't shovel it in quick enough. His little mouth is open, ready for the next spoonful, which is a dramatic change from the start. It was a clamped mouth, moving his head away, wouldn't accept anything. So that's a huge change. We are still on custard and rusk, but his amounts have increased quite a lot. So we're now on 400 grams of um, custard each day. He's also getting four rusks and 120 mils of soya milk, and that's just any sort of meals. Um, but he is also getting diluted juice. So he is staying nice um, and hydrated, which is good. And no tube are delighted. So we are now entering the sort of safe stage. So this is now where he should be starting to get to grips with eating. So he's starting to feel safe and psychologically have in the back of his head that opening his mouth, tasting the food, having it in his mouth um, and swallowing it isn't actually a bad thing. So we're now at this stage where we're not to change any textures, we're not to change any flavours and we're to sort of let him progress through the course that way. Um, and just letting himself feel really safe enough to accept more things before we move on to anything else and scan him a little bit more. I am really excited to move on to new things because of course the dream is to prepare a meal and have us all sit down and eat it. Of course, that's what we want. However, knowing what he was like before with all of the gagging um, and actually projectile vomiting when something was a different texture in his mouth, in fact, when anything went in his mouth, really. So the thing is, I am really worried to change anything because we have been here before in the past. We have got so close to removing the tube, um, being on the custard, and that being the only thing he's taken. So we are hoping that it doesn't scare him so much that it sort of takes him back a few steps and we're back to square one, which would be horrendous because this process is so difficult so difficult to have a child very hungry and screaming all of the time knowing that you're the one doing it doesn't feel very nice at all however knowing that if i don't do it and he will end up in surgery sort of weighing it up um i know which one i would rather choose so it's not a nice situation to be in but we are seeing lovely positives he's coming along so so well um, and I'm hoping that, you know, he, he manages to take enough and stay nice and hydrated and start putting on a little bit of weight. So then we could, fingers crossed, maybe get rid of the tube. 
which would be amazing. Um, can't wait, it would be an absolute dream and we're so close to Christmas. So our ultimate aim and wish for Christmas is that he would at least attempt a little bit of something off of our Christmas dinner. So that would be amazing. Um, but yeah, so I will be back here updating you again, hopefully with amazing news and letting you all know um, how we're getting on again next week. So thank you so, so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please do subscribe, give us a like and thank you so incredibly much for watching. Bye.